Imagine if you slowly started to lose your vision, hearing, sense of smell, and mobility. What if you gradually lost the ability to do the activities you love? This is what people with adult Refsim disease experience. Symptoms may appear when people are as young as five or later in life and steadily worsen. Let's take a deeper dive into this debilitating rare genetic disease and discuss the work the Global DARE Foundation is doing to increase awareness and promote research towards improving people's lives. To understand Refsim disease, we need to learn a bit about fatty acids, which make up fat. Fatty acids, which we get from food, look like a long chain. When the links are broken, they release an energy burst that fuels you doing activities like exercise. There are some types called long chain branched fatty acids that need to be broken down inside special compartments called peroxisomes within cells. Think of the peroxisome like a canal and fatty acids as the water that flows from one end to the other. Just as water moves through dams and locks that control its flow, fatty acids move through the peroxisome and are broken down in a series of reactions. You can imagine that if one of the locks was broken, water would build up and eventually overflow. This is what happens in people with Refsim. Because of an error in their DNA, they can't break down a particular type of fatty acid called phytanic acid, so it accumulates in cells throughout the body. As this continues over the years, it becomes harmful, especially when people break down fat, which releases phytanic acid into the blood. So what does this mean for people with Refsim disease? The first symptoms are often difficulty seeing in the dark or difficulty seeing out of the corner of your eye due to an eye disorder called retinitis pigmentosa and shortened fingers or toes. As phytanic acid builds up over time, other symptoms present such as numbness, balance issues, loss of smell, and hearing loss. Because Refsim disease is both very rare, one in every million people has it, and it has this wide range of symptoms, it can take a long time, think 15 to 20 years or more, for someone to be diagnosed. Slow diagnosis delays treatment. A key piece in the puzzle for diagnosis is ordering a simple test that measures elevated botanic acid levels in the blood. So how is Refsim managed? The main plan involves avoiding foods that are high in phytanic acid to prevent even more accumulation. There has been a limited amount of testing which has shown that dairy products, red meats, some fish, and other foods are high in phytanic acid and should be avoided. Another intervention is to minimize fat burning like exercise, weight loss, fasting, illness, and stress which release phytanic acid into the blood, worsening symptoms. When people become acutely ill due to raised phytanic acid levels, a therapy called plasmapheresis can be used to remove phytanic acid from the blood. As you can see, quality of life is dramatically affected for people with Refsim disease. What can be done to improve their lives? First, it is so important that we get people diagnosed earlier. Refsim has a proven dietary therapy that slows vision loss, so the sooner the diagnosis, the sooner therapy can begin. More research towards developing new and better treatments is essential. Testing more foods for their phytanic acid content increases our knowledge about foods that need to be avoided and ones that are safe to add to the diet, giving more variety. Another potential area is gene therapy. Recall that people with Refsim have an error in their DNA that make them unable to break down phytanic acid. If the DNA could be changed to the correct version, phytanic acid could be broken down normally. To drive better quality of life, more must be done to advocate for and increase awareness about Refsim disease. Global DARE Foundation was established to do exactly that. They set up a patient registry, which will increase knowledge of the disease to improve treatment and care and attract funding to drive research for better therapies. If you have Refsim disease, join the registry and make a difference. Global DARE Foundation is also working hard to educate clinicians, researchers, and the public about the disease. It is the hope that through these efforts, the time to diagnosis can become faster and better therapies can be developed to improve the lives of people who suffer from Refsim disease. Visit Global Dare Foundation's website and see how you can help.